Batteries, do you need them? Of course you do. But have you considered using rechargeable batteries? As being a former director of training and academy director for a local search and rescue team and a special boat operator, I'll show you what I used so that I was always ready when we got the call. Welcome back. It's Timothy Olson with 9533 Training Consulting. And I'm going to talk to you about one of those things that, you know, we all think about, but we don't really think about, and that's batteries. Uh, we've all got gear that takes batteries, whether it be our GPS, our headlamps. What about our hearing protection? We've got radios. We've got, you know, you name it, portable GPS systems. Uh, you've got pulse oxes, or maybe it's even a portable BT cuff or blood pressure cuff. These are all things that I have used in the field uh, and I found that rechargeable batteries allows me to be always ready whenever I need to be. Having rechargeable batteries means that you're always topped off and you're not all of a sudden picking up your flashlight and going, oh, batteries are dead and searching for them. I'm going to show you the equipment that I use that makes the difference for me. So what you can see is that this is the type of rechargeable system that I have for, for me. And you can use anything that you want. I'm using products by a company called Tenergy. Tenergy actually has some of the best rechargeable batteries that I came across. And once again, this is for me. Uh, they have different types of batteries. I have some batteries that have a, a slow discharge. So these are longer lasting batteries. They hold their charge longer. And then they have their high intensity batteries, uh, the ones that are going to give a very quick and hot burn. What would I use these different types of batteries for? Well, concerning my equipment, I've got my GPS. And in my GPS, because I'm not gonna use it all the time, I wanna make sure that this is going to be holding its best charge. I use long lasting batteries in my GPS. As well as if I'm using my wrist mounted GPS, uh, I have the same thing in here. So in here I would put the same, I call them the greens, uh, long lasting batteries is what I would put in here. And these batteries are gonna hold their charge longer. I don't need them to burn out quickly because if I'm using GPS, I'm going over long distances. One of the things that uh, I find on being able to recharge quickly because I have a majority of obviously AA batteries is I have different charging systems. This system right here uh, is well, the first one that I started with. It allows you to charge and discharge, and it also gives you the status of the batteries. So you can see here, all four batteries are fully charged. I can take them off and move on. And to take them out, all they are is that this is just a spring-loaded piece that connects to the battery. Pull out the battery that's charged. Obviously, I'd make sure that I don't mix them up. Pull one out. Just line it up, and these will charge C's, D's, double A's, triple A's. And you can see right now it's getting ready to charge that battery. Seeing the battery isn't quite charged, it's not ready, and it'll speed up really quick. Because I have a bunch of double A's, and that's the majority of what I'm doing, I have a 16 bank quick charger. So with these, I can load them in. And because of this particular charging bank, I can see the status of my batteries. And then once again, no, when to rotate them out and go to the next one and say, okay, this one's ready, this one's ready. And I specifically want something that's gonna show me this status. I can tell if a battery's having a problem, say it's, it's finally fizzled out and it's not charging anymore. I can pull that one out of rotation. Nine volt batteries, those ones that everybody always says, oh my goodness, I have nine volts, are those rechargeable? Yes, they are. This is the system you will need to be able to do nine volt batteries. It does have a slot in the bottom that could do two at a time. Charge it in. You'll see it pop up on the edge, nine volts, charging. If you've got, basically I have just a little flashlight so I can check people's pupils to see what they're, uh, how they're doing. Pulsometer. This is allowing me to check their oxygen saturation. Got my batteries for that. Now, one thing people always talk about is their flashlights. So my flashlight is rechargeable. I specifically wanted 
a flashlight with a rechargeable battery. And this is a great brand. I'll let you know what it is I'm using. It does have different brightnesses associated with it, but this comes with a different kind of charger. So all I would do is it drop it in there, light will let up, let me know the status of the battery. Once it's full, pull it out, I'm good to go. I charge my batteries every Sunday. Sunday is my day. I pull everything out. They're in a separate light cook right here, number two. See right here? Right here, it's showing me that this one is not charging. So I can go number two, this is the battery. Reset it, does it recognize? No. Let's move it down. Is it the slot or is it the battery? That's what this allows you to do. So it's the slot. There's one of these that was having a problem. That's probably the one. <clears throat> Headlamps. Headlamps, I have longer lasting batteries in here. This is something that's going to be, you know, we're going to be running headlamps if we're searching at night. This is what we're going to need to have on at all times. Like I said, every Sunday I would go ahead and charge my batteries. Uh, I would get grief from the other team guys like, oh, what are you doing? Charging your batteries? Yeah, I would. And the funny thing is, is that when you get that call out at oh dark 30 and all of a sudden you grab your gear and you go out and they're like, oh man, my headlamp's dead or my flashlight's dead. Somebody have a flashlight. My gear is always good to go. They also sell these little plastic, uh, little battery cases. And what I would do is say for my headlamp, right? So I'd have my four batteries in my headlamp and then I would have another sleeve, another one of these with four more of the same kind of battery that I'm using in there, in here. Now everything would be charged up at the same time, everything would be full ready to go. So I would have my headlamp, because it's one thing that's used a lot, with backup set of batteries. Or I would have my, uh, let's say, GPS. GPS with a backup set of batteries. Because these little sleeves allows me to be able to put those and keep them ready to go. Looks like something like this. So this is a sleeve that I used, uh, it's got Two of my green long lasting, which would be running for my GPS. GPS. Uh, and then I had two triple A's for my uh, pulsometer, which would be here. This uh, these little things are perfect. The batteries aren't touching. I'm not worrying about them burning out. They're just dropped in here, drop in my case, ready to go. All right, so you can see that from using rechargeable batteries, you're gonna be able to allow yourself to always be ready when the bell tolls. I love rechargeable batteries. I got all kinds of grief from the team guys as to oh, you're charging your batteries. And I did and I loved it and I don't really care. The last thing you wanna do is to go ahead and get your flashlight, get your headgear, get some piece of it, get your radio and find out that it doesn't work because your batteries aren't charged. That's, the, that's just rookie lame stuff. So I'll put links below for all of that equipment as well as the types of equipment that I use, whether it's the radios or the flashlights. Uh, if you want to find out what that is, feel free to go to the links. If you use a particular method to getting your gear ready, you use a different kind of battery, different kind of recharging system, let me know. I would love to hear about it. And we can basically talk about why I use mine. You can let me know why I use yours. Once again, on time, on target, never quit. Hoo-yah.